Xalitol, it now causes heart attack and stroke. And guess what? You should remove it from everywhere in your household. Well, I'm going to tell you in this video that I don't think Xalitol is as bad for you if you are using it for oral hygiene purposes. Now, if you're using it for consuming purposes, like a sugar substitute, then yes, take these studies very seriously. So let's dive into the studies and see what they say. Now, when you look at the studies, the important thing that I want to mention is actually the dosage of how much Xalitol they are using on their patients. So they refer to a Xalitol sweetened drink. So after they consume that drink with Xalitol, they then take the blood tests and see all of these negative effects occurring in one's body. So I wanted to know how much Xalitol they used in their experiment. And I couldn't really find it on the abstract over here and I didn't want to pay the money either. So I looked at a similar study that they did on erythritol. And in that study, the dosage that they used was 30 grams in their sweetened erythritol drink. So I'm just going to assume that they use around the same ballpark amount of 30 grams of xalitol for their xalitol study. Now, how much xalitol do you use when you are using it for oral hygiene purposes? So one of these gums, that is one gram of xalitol. The drink that they are using in their studies is this much xalitol. That is 30 grams. Now that is a magnitude of difference when it comes to the people who use xalitol as a sugar substitute versus people who use xalitol for oral hygiene purposes. Dr. Hazen, the researcher behind the study, even says, quote, it does not mean throw out your toothpaste if it has xalitol in it, but we should be aware that consumption of a product containing high levels could increase the risk of blood clot related events. I think it's always extremely important to know the studies that are out there whenever we use something pretty experimental and newish like xalitol for oral hygiene. And I was extremely careful when I was using erythritol for oral hygiene. And I think the same scrutiny needs to be used for any product or chemical that we are using to enhance our day-to-day -day life. Now, if a new study came out saying that just one gram of xalitol, a very small amount, would cause these same heart attack and stroke impacts on my body, I would stop xalitol. That would be it. Studies say that, sadly enough, the thing that I found that works really well for my oral hygiene also is causing extreme bodily harm to me. Yeah, I would stop it and hopefully find something else down the road. But the thing is that these studies don't showcase that. They showcase that if you consume a large amount of xalitol, way more than what anyone would use for oral hygiene purposes, you then have these risks of heart attack and stroke. Now, if you are using xalitol for sugar substitute purposes in your baking, in your sweet drinks, in your uh, cooking and so on, then I would tell you to stop because the studies have shown that using a large amount of xalitol in your diet is not healthy and will cause these bad impacts on your body like elevated risk of stroke and heart attack. Many things can be had in moderation if you just take care of the risk factors and make sure that the pros outweigh the cons. And right now, there are no studies that showcase that xalitol in small amounts have led to those big risks of heart attack and stroke. So I am going to continue using xalitol for my oral hygiene needs.